time here is over. My kin are dead. The ones who remain must decide what is right for themselves. Let it be Toka's time. What will you do? Leave this place. Ask different questions. Forget everything I know and... and find a new way. going away then I am going with him no Toga your clan needs you He was not himself since my father died. A solitary man. But never more so than when he stood alone, tasked with rousing our desperate clan. He led well, but all leaders must one day step aside. That, or see others die because they held on to power for too long. When his strong voice echoed in this place, we knew what to do. We had courage, daring. And his fire still burns in your folk. Skull. Skull. I lack a taste for mulled wine. Sometimes a leader must drink the thing they wish not to. I have word from Count Odo. What does he want? An audience with Eivor. It is urgent. He says the Queen may be in peril. My spies confirmed this. Charles has been hunting again for her and the boy. What do you think? Odo would not lie. If he says it's urgent, I must go. I owe the Queen a debt, and I am honor bound to see this through. Then go. You have fortune's favor, Wolfkist. Eivor of England. You sent for me. Said the Queen was in peril. I did. Come with me. Look at these workers. Working happily. Working with pride. The beauty of my family vineyard depends on them. The quality of the wine is their doing. They are not beasts of burden. They take as much pride in these grapes as I do. I'm not here to admire your vineyard. No. But this is more than a vineyard. It is a vision of Francia. A vision that cannot exist under Charles. Ah, pluck the grapes right on time, Roland. Très bien. Dependable as always. Merci, monsieur. These grapes produce the wine that my vineyard is famous for. I admit, there is an uncommon beauty to these lands. Hmm, <laughs> indeed. Come. I am slower than I once was. My physician says the wounds you have delivered should have taken me. You chose to have that fight. 
And you fought for your people and for your honor. I do not hold it against you. Any true leader would have done the same. We are more alike than we first appear, Hero. And I will carry the scars to remind me. I feared my message would not get past Siegfried's many axes. Siegfried has left these lands. Those axes belong to Toka Simrix Dotir now. That should be cause for celebration. But I fear Toka is yet another devil in a mere shirt. Toka has learned much from Siegfried. Some of what she has learned is how not to be. I hope you are right. Your message said Rishadis was in peril. Is that really why you sent for me? These men represent the growing rebellion against Charles the Fat. I now accept the bitter truth that I find more honor and courage in you, Evar, a northern invader, than in my own king. Honor is not bound by country or creed. Indeed. And it seems Richardis also knows this. She and that bastard Bernard are more than mere pawns in Francia's future. Bernard. A part of me wanted to hand him over to Charles. What grace you possess prevented you from condemning the boy to a hell in this world. He is better off with Richardis. Where is the queen? She's hiding in a tavern in Amiens, guarded by my men. But those men have not reported back in... too long. <sighs> I will find Richardis. I'm duty-bound to return the aid she once gave me. And... she is my friend. There is one more thing. This rebellion will succeed. And when it does, my path to the throne will be well charted. Your true ambitions. I was a loyal servant to Francia, to Charles, and to God. But Charles has been exposed. You want a Frankish king who will never march on England? I am that king. If I kill Charles for you. If you kill Charles for Francia, we would not forget. You are an honorable man, Count Odo. If I have a chance to kill Charles, I will. And in so doing, you will have sealed an alliance between the people of your clan and all the peoples of Francia. First, I must seek out Richardis in Amiens. Then go, Eva the Wise. My prayers will ask the Lord to guide that blade of yours. We will overcome this evil, as we always have. It was a massacre. Mon Dieu. Bodies scattered like children's toys. They say it was a demon. Some silly queen. Some say the queen, she... My, what vile witchery has befallen us! These men must have been the queen's guard. Savonkey, what happened here? Hide! I am not sure it has gone! The monster! So much blood! Just hide! Better to look around myself.
this how the Queen escaped? Or the way enemies got to her? More of Odo's men. They failed to safeguard the Queen. A monk. What was he doing here? <laughs> A scroll. It has an odd marking. Could have been part of Bernard's studies. A red puppy. Yes, these are Odo's men. The tavern keep may know something about this scroll and its markings. There's a dead monk upstairs, and a scroll in a tongue I do not understand. It's uh, probably scripture, written in Latin. The boy prince reads Latin. Bernard? Oh, yes, they were here. That monk was his teacher. He's from the church here in Amiens. I heard the queen tell Bernard to go to the priests and nuns there when he is in trouble. Then I will look in on this church and hope to find the queen there. I know it! The bastard prince is cautious around here. Bernard is here. I don't care if she's a witch or diable. Nobody should be bound alive. They come, or a job. Richard Dees distracted him, and I snuck through the construction, along the wall. There is a tower there, and if you climb and climb, you can go right over! Where is Richard Dees? Where is the Queen? The monster. She left with him. You mean the one who slaughtered so many at the tavern? He said we'd be brought to Father for something. A test! I was- What kind of test? I... He called it a trial. Yes, that is what he said. A trial by fire, at Father's villa, here in Amiens. He means to burn her alive. Go, Bernard. Go to your house in Lister. I will see to Shadis. I can help. I know... things. You do not have to hurt my father. He is just... He gets confused sometimes. You must keep yourself safe, Bernard. The fate of Frankia depends on your survival. 
It will be a grand task for you to sneak all the way down to the Seine alone. This is a hero's burden. Are you up for it? I can do it. Good. Now go. Keep going, and do not look back. I will see to Richardis. Au revoir, Evo. It appears that God himself is here to bear witness to this trial. May he show infinite mercy on the innocent. And if one is guilty of lying, scheming, committing adultery, may his holy wrath punish your wicked soul. I have nothing to fear from him. It is you, Charles, who must seek his forgiveness. <laughs> we will soon know who God has blessed with his favor. My guardian angel approaches. That is no angel. Before my king, and before God, it's time I send this Diable back to hell where it belongs. Alive. Stand aside, Bishop. Your god does not bring men back more than once. For Angelwyn! For little mother! For my brother Ebels! I will purge you from this place! Out of my way, Bishop. Again. I am his wrath! Thou hast delivered my soul from death, mine eyes from tears, and my face from falling. I think you want the best. You like it? I want me to send you to hell, you fool! Go, I want the valley of the shadow of death! You would 
I must find Bernard. Bernard is safe. I sent him back to the house in Lucerne. Once again, he uses you. You radiate God's grace, Eivor. You mistake grace for the flash of victory. Poor Bishop Guzla. I will pray for his soul. He served the Lord the best way he knew how. Charles and I need to talk. It may be the last time he talks to anyone. No. He is a wounded man who was tortured as a child. Burnt and burnt again. His whole life is fear. Fear of fire. Fear of God. Fear of disloyalty. He deserves mercy. Count Odo would have me kill Charles, so that he may take the throne. Would you kill a man for the crime of losing the battle for his soul? Not a moment ago, he was to have you burned alive. What would you have me do? Spare him. Subdue him somehow. I can take him to a remote cottage in the east, where he will receive priestly guidance. There, we can live out quietly while I continue to prepare Bernard to succeed Charles. I assure you, he will grow up to be a ruler without ambitions for England. Spare Charles, and your people will be safe. Charles has dishonored all of his allies and his people. I will not swear an oath to spare him. This is folly, Evor. Killing Charles will not assure the safety of your people. If not, let it avenge all the Norse he has felled here in Frankia. Father, bless these men who stand humbly in your judgment. Thank <laughs> you. 
Who was there for you? It was me. I know it. I see clearly now. I should never have doubted you. Are you? You come in, my king! Please, stay back! I will burn you! I know your skill! I have fire! I'm not the king. Guards. The key. Could work on the door in the main hall. Strange. This kingdom has riches beyond my wildest mushroom cat dreams. The bedroom of the king and queen. Like it has never been touched. And now we smash the little ones. Ah, oh, the little ones. Against the stars. Against the stars. I know. Save me, oh mother of mine! Spare my life, please! Another key. I should try these on the main hall door. Try these keys on the main hall door. This better work. She's the angel. The, the saint. The one who shimmers with the Lord's light. And so they were right about me. All of them were right. I know. We are what they say. It has always been us. Even as they seared me, I feigned to be purged of all demons. <gasps> but I knew. No amount of burning would rid me of you. And burn me they did. Beloved this scarred flesh, you were still there. You were still here. You have always been here. I embrace you, demon. Louder. We are the demon. We are... I am not the only demon who lurks in these chambers. killed him before. Maybe he will rise from the dead again.
Count Odo. You will rule the kingdom when you are dead. I will crush his bits in an iron press for this! Now is my chance. All you had to do was give me my son! Doomed your people! How are you? All you had to do was give me my son! You doomed your people! I will never forget you! Him, but too far from the braces. Hell is coming. He fears the fire.
diablo! I done to you? It did not have to be this way. His death is payment for the many he has killed, and of mercy for those he was yet to. Speak not of mercy while his blood is still warm. What you have done was driven by selfishness and anger, not mercy. Charles was a threat to my clan. He was mad beyond reason. And should your clan be a threat to one of your neighbors, I hope God grants them the wisdom you lack. Now leave us. Just know, Charles will never honor a bond with you northerners. Unlike him, my word can be trusted. Ha! You are no more than a wounded dog at my table looking for scraps. How dare you! Wait! Eva! Finally we can talk sense. What of Richardis? Did you encounter Charles? Richardis yet lives. Charles does not. And when Francia's nobles back me to be their next king, you can count on a pack of friendship between us. Eva, the wise. That makes today a day for our celebration! Oh! 
Skull. Skull. Sante! It has been curious to know you, Eivor. You are as enigmatic as any northerner I have met. Here's hoping there are more like you. I must go now and attend the throne. I wish you a safe journey back to England. Your greatest challenges lie before you, Count Odo. I hope you have the strength. As do I. Is it wise to put our trust in him? The future is a mystery. Whether Odo will even attain his ambition is unclear. Then how am I to proceed? I cannot tell you that. You are the leader of your people now. Your instinct will determine their future. I have much to consider. Stay true to your honor and bring glory to your people. If you do that, you cannot fail. I will send word should the Franks grow an appetite for England again. To your relations with Odo, consider returning to him the lands that Charles pledged to Siegfried. No. Those lands are compensation for the hardship he has caused us. Odo kept Paris. That is enough. You sound more y'all like all the time. And now I must think of my own people, whom I have been away from for too long. Before you go, have this. It was my father, Sinrix, the second best leader and teacher I have known. It has been my honor. I hope to lead as well as you do, Eivor. If ever you hunger for more Frankish cheese, I will be happy to share. <laughs> Farewell, Toga. You must have heard about Charles. We have eyes and ears everywhere. You did the right thing, Ivor. Frankia will have a better king. One you might even be inclined to follow. That remains to be seen. For now, loyalists rise to resist the change. We will continue our missions. So, what will it be? I'll be back later. Well, you... What do you want to... Back to England? To England. Off we go then.
Sabor. Are we safe? It will be many winters before Frankish troops land on the English shore. My spies say Paris fell. It did. But the situation is thornier than that. In what way? I killed the Mad King, Charles the Fat. Odo, the Count of Paris, means to take the throne. Is that good for us? Time will tell. But Odo is an honorable man, and he has a kingdom to rebuild. That is comforting. We also have a hardy ally in Toka Sindrikstotje. She is young. And the quick study. <laughs> will be right by us. Perhaps they need not know the danger we face. We came home with bounty, glory, and some Frankish foods. I can ask the raiders to keep their tales to that. They will say everything, and then some. <laughs> Afraid so. <laughs> New strength comes to weathered halls. Now I can rest. Never heard tell of any river champion. Not sure what to make of that. But you're welcome to ask Eivor. Suniva, and stranger, what brings you to our shores? Vaughn and his crew claim to be raiders of great treasures. They seek to join with Ravenstone. If you wish to join us, we only ask for hard work and loyalty. No need of silver or gold. Wouldn't say no to it, either. It is good to meet you, Eivor. And there is more in this for you than precious metals. We may seem weary and ragged, but we know secret routes of England's coasts, where you will find a wealth of resources for Ravensthorpe. You seek to share them with us? Why? When the table is laden with too great a feast, you gather friends round to enjoy. We seek friends and feasting. Let me show you. I will take you out on a raid. Once we repair our ship. I appreciate the offer. And accept it. How do you judge our dock? Ah, now that's a dock worthy of our longship. Come and talk to me whenever you are ready to leave. Are you ready to set sail? I'm ready. On to the raid. We will use my crew for the first outing. Easier for me to show you what lies along the river bank. Later, you are welcome to send your own Joms Vikinger along the paths we travel. Mine could use the rest.
This river does not appear on any maps. Few know how to navigate it. But the Yom's Vikinga have been learning its spirits. An old friend said it was a smuggling route for Roman traders. She claimed it was useful in hiding their tracks. In fact, it is so well hidden. You could raid your very neighbors and they would never know it was you. Something to think about. Look! There! Villages! Not hoarders of wealth, mind you. But well worth the trouble if you're seeking rations for the crew. Remember, my crew is like a pack of trained warriors. They will respond to your orders. I've had tougher fights in taverns. Well, stay alert. The smoke from the flames will alert camps downriver. The fighting will get tougher as we go. Military camp. You will find foreign supplies and even gear if you're lucky. They will put up a fight. But so be it, yeah.
Come here! Let's go! I thought you were a fighter, yet you didn't join the battle. Biding your time for bigger fights? More of a captain these days. Odd, isn't it? A raider who doesn't raid. Turns out, spending years getting damn near chopped in half leaves you with enough aches and stiffnesses to keep you not bound. Now come. Let us go. Patrice! <laughs> 